What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and everybody is getting a free Neymar. It's like Oprah says, one for you, there's one for you, there's one for you. 600 million download campaign. I will cover that in a future video, but yeah, everyone's getting Neymar, similar to how they got Mbappe, how they got Messi. Um, so, you know, if you are a newcomer, obviously Neymar is going to be probably an improvement on your squad. There are a couple of limitations with this card now because of the stamina and because of the changes to curled shots. So it does kind of like take away a little bit of the over overpoweredness of Neymar. But that is his card there. And look, it, depending on what kind of squad you have, he is probably going to be an upgrade on what you currently have. There's his skills and stats. All right, so we're going to train him up, lads, and we're going to see how many training points he takes. So let's see. We'll go to 50,000, 54,000, 53, or 55, 56, 57. So 57,000, not... No, not the worst in the world, I'd say, if you're going to be training him up. We are going to train him up and see what he actually turns into, um, just to see what he's like. Uh, but yeah, a bit disappointed. He's obviously on C form, and that speed and stamina are going to be a bit of an issue with this card, right? But if you have not got any version of Neymar before, obviously this team play style is going to be set to 90 for them all, so that is a good thing with this card. But I think the best thing to do with this card is to think exactly how you want to play with him. Uh, look lads they've nerfed the shooting the curl shot shooting usually before i would probably put neymar up to this 90 curl 88 finishing and i'd have him as like you know pulling in off the left you've probably seen you know a lot of goals where you can kind of cut in off the left or cut in off the right you know with a with a really good shooter um that isn't blisteringly fast like messi is 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 fast in the game but Neymar is kind of in a similar position to him because I would this is how I'd probably train him up before um I would probably you know pump in this into his dexterity and then I would probably pump in a little to his speed not a massive amount into his speed um because obviously you know you're not going to get that fast fast anyway but you're going to have 89 acceleration and then you're going to have dribbling in the in the in the 80s high 80s 90s um passing wouldn't be a big issue and then we also would have that as well. So, you know, you could be looking at somebody, a player like that, which would be a 95 overall. But I don't think I'd train him up that way now because of the way V2.4 gameplay is going. Plus, I already have a version of Neymar that has high finishing. This guy has extremely high finishing for a winger or for a player that you can play SS. Um, but the auto allocate actually has six shooting, four passing, eight dribbling, eight dexterity, four lower body. Um, and he goes to 96 overall. And obviously that's because of the passing there, um, which upgrades there. But I would probably look if I was going training him, depending on your play style, depending on your tactics, depending on everything. And this is kind of just a rough guide as to how you should train him. Right. I'll give you two options. So the first option would be if you do like to cut in and cross across the box, or you do like to shoot, the shooting is nerfed, but you can still score a lot of curl shots. They're just not not as far out. You need to go in a little bit further into the into the box or in in front of the box. I would say that this auto allocate one is uh, is kind of similar to how I would train him, right? So I would probably go eighty eight curl, eighty six finishing. I would reduce the passing down to one. I would just put eighty uh, into low pass there. The dribbling, I would probably reduce down a little bit as well because you just don't need uh, as much there as you as you think because obviously once you have tight possession and dribbling, um, you know, in the 90s, we'll leave that for now. I would also probably try and pump up the stamina to about 8 there. If I couldn't do that, which I can't, I'm probably going to just try and get that acceleration and balance to 90 because that's going to kick in uh, when you do get the, you know, like the 50-50s or whatever. Now, that would be for a player that you're going to try to, um, you know, like, I don't know, like cut in from and score and still play uh, that way. Um, but for me, I think the best version of him Actually, would do you know be... what? In hindsight, lads, with the position that we're going to be playing him, if we are going to be playing him on the wing, we do kind of need just like that little base of stamina there. So I'd probably go eight on that. I'd probably go eight on that. Get the offensive awareness up. We'd probably pump one into the passing. I'd probably pump two into curl just to get the shooting up, even though we're not going to necessarily be using uh, shots and stuff all the time. But then from there, you're going to have a 94 rated version of Neymar. That's going to be very wing centric. You've got your dribbling. Um, we'll give one more into dribbling to get the dribbling up to 93. But you've got your dribbling. You've got your dexterity at 90. Um, and you've got your lower body strength uh, that boosts up his speed and stamina to 76 and 73, right? There's nothing really else that you need to do um, unless you wanted to have one point instead of shooting 
or instead of passing, you could put it into your team play style proficiency. But that's where I think you should boot, uh, kind of train him, depending on what play style that you want. That is kind of the one I'm going to go for, that version there. Um, to be honest, I don't know, do I want to be using this Neymar that much, because I do have a couple of versions of him, but for a newcomer, he's probably a fairly decent player, to be fair. Um, it's just that they've messed up the shooting a little bit, in my opinion. Um, you know, enough that it's probably not worth using him as that type of player he is a creative playmaker as well so that's something to keep in mind if you are playing him on the wing he's not going to activate that but if you play him through amf i mean amf this is a beautiful card apart from the passing um and to be honest the passing you could have passing unless it's like 94 or 95 you're going to be hitting a lot of wayward passes anyway with the way that the the kind of the chaotic gameplay can be uh sometimes but yeah, I think this is Neymar at his best when you have your acceleration, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, all in the 90s, balance in the 90s. Balance is going to override a lot of the frailties of these, you know, cards that have low stamina. Um, but I definitely think that Neymar is a good option to have if you don't have him yet. Uh, it's just a pity that this card would have been god tier if they hadn't touched the curl shots in V2.4. But because they have done that, I think it does uh, it does kind of need to be trained differently. So that is it, lads. Let me know what you guys think with your free Neymar. And I will be back quite soon with some more videos. A lot of stuff coming today. And of course, the live stream kicking off in a couple of hours. Talk to you then.